Uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the highly energetic and chaotic Total War Arena. This has definitely been a close run thing. And firstly, they've been they've been close battles. The, the score doesn't tell it that, but no. they have been very close run battles. Yeah, most definitely. A lot of the, the victories that have really come out have been either from over aggressiveness or sneaky camps, which is something that Lionheart's been uh, pushing through quite well. As he gives me a cheeky smile from across the room. Um, but uh, what, what what came down in that last one was just teams starting to just trust and push and, and working together as a team, and it really, really worked out yeah, quite we, well. Yeah, we saw me. Mecca and Jakefish working very well together, actually, yeah. in that last one, managing to get around. Uh, I think it was Jakefish that did the charge onto um, Sagirion in, yeah. the, in the river, absolutely annihilated all three sets of units. The artillery landing on top of um, Side Strafe, absolutely decimated oh, yeah. him. So there was a number of uh, points in there, for, especially for Leonidas' team, that really worked out well for them. We'll have to see how it works out again. It is Marathon once again. And this time, of course, we are going to follow Germanicus, Lionheart and Duck. Will Duck be that sneaky man around the back? The question is, will Leonidas fall for it a eighth time? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, what it comes down eighth to, time, yeah. with, with players like uh, Agni Duck, and you've also got Polis in there, um, these guys are just generally very, very good with their micro. They were good with 20 units. They're good now with three, and they're, they're, they're one of those kind of players you can never really turn your back on. But actually, that's probably what went wrong for them in that last game. They tried to go for a cap instead of just going back around and, and focusing on the main battle. And Le Team Leonidas focused on the main fight, and that's what they won. Yeah, okay, Duck came in. Yeah, Duck caused a lot of troubles. Yes, Hugo Star came in with all their cavalry. But at the end of the day, the chunk of the army had been already been wiped out, and it was only like a little bit remaining, and they just couldn't do it. Line but it was close. On your screen there, the general for Team Germanicus. And there is absolutely a lot of captains in that team that have been doing some serious hard work. Baron and Duck have been creeping around the side every single game. Every time Paul S and Hugo and Rambler just causing so many problems with the cavalry. But last time it was Leonidas' cavalry that caused the problems. Can they do it again? That's the question. Leonidas, can they drag it back to 6-3? There is still a chance to draw this back equal. Yeah, because we have another four games to play here. This being one of them. So big chance for Leonidas to pull themselves back into this game. Yeah, they need to be very careful uh, not to get too aggressive. But then again, at this point, maybe what they need is chaos. They need to make it as yeah. messy <laughs> as possible and try and mess up this nice little formation setup that uh, Team Germanicus is playing with. As soon as you okay. start making a bit more of a chaos... So <laughs> Line uh -huh. arts like, side strafe, get back behind these guys. And then he just would push forward. He's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> get back behind these. So... Germanicus actually going defensive this time. This is actually a, a standard tactic that I've seen in the game. So they're going to set up a line and basically wait for the archers to come out. As long as they've got vision, which they kind of have on the corner, you can see from that tower, it shows half of the trees. It gives them enough vision. There we go. Look, see, drawing out perfectly. It's like, you guys get up the front here, get the archers in there, get themselves to cover and force them to push over that river. Yeah, and that's going to be key. So they're, they're, they're anchoring their flank on the river and swamp. Uh, they're using Duck... Um, the, Duck as bait, uh, once again. Finish Wonder Kid. Look uh, at Paul S, look at Paul S. He's trying to scout around. He's like, is there anything here? Not too sure. Not able to see anything in the trees. The problem is you can't really see until you're literally falling on top of them. Yeah, he did just find someone. And that's where I think the artillery... I think artillery is about to fire in that direction. Yeah, and scouting a heavy infantry, generally not the best idea because at the end of the day, as soon as you're in range of artillery, you're generally just going to get smashed over and over again. But they're just scouting the cavalry. You can't really take cavalry into the woods. It's not a good yeah, idea. I was just wondering when Rambler was heading that way. I was like, eh. Oh, Paul S actually. Oh, Prince of Mastodon, wake up, man. There was oh. a, he, he, he walked into a ledge. There's a ledge there. There's yeah. the, one of the few ledges on that, right. in that part of the map. And he walked straight into it. Oh, and uh, yeah, there's not much you can do when uh, you, you walk into a ledge. Artillery just caught on to I think it was Rambler. Lost half of one of his units there to artillery. Duck once again. What a surprise. Creeping his way around the side here. Yeah. yeah, always Paul S. Paul S actually that lost half his units there to artillery. Baron this time holding much deeper as his Duck. So... Very much a defensive oh. set. Oh, Paul S just lost a chunk of units. 
Uh, Artillery is routed. It's broke as well. And that may... I think the second one will miss. I think the second one will miss. Mm, just about. But that, uh, that was a... A lot more units lost than Paul S would count, and this is the thing, you know, you, you're covering three units, but when you're scouting around the map so much, it's so easy to just lose track of one. Yeah, it, it's so easy, and more importantly, just even when you know what you're looking at, there's so much going on around you that you can always be caught out. You can just get tunnel vision on one unit or two, yeah. and all of a sudden, you, you find yourself surrounded, but and that happens so much in The fact game. is, there's ten pairs of eyes yeah. moving around the map at one time, so if you take your eye off some one, then chances are somebody else has got their eyes on you oh that actually that artillery managed to hit nicely now they need to start looking at Prince Ambassador oh wow that cavalry just got decimated I didn't see whose it was but you can see Lionheart being very much the general this time dictating where to fire where to shoot where to aim what to do tell keeping that artillery line in the background they've lost Diplex so many times to Jakefish to get him sneaking through this time they're covering him off there's Jakefish there's he's trying to get around the side but they're holding the lines wow that artillery oh, once that again hit. right in a row oh. oh. just in front of him Rambler taking a lot of damage so what's happening here, you can see Duck. If we can go to Duck quickly, you're going to see him sneaking up behind that artillery once again. And this is going to be dangerous because they're using this artillery to great effect and it looks like they might actually lose him once. Look at him, he's sneaking in. You can see it in the far away. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this this is worrying. If they don't stop this, uh, they're going to lose their artillery. You can see the cavs coming back for it. Gunner's already running, but Duck knows what to do. He's going to run over that artillery of his charge and it's going to do the damage. You see Mecca. Mecca's trying to get back there. He's not going to be quick enough, though. He's just going to come Quick out of it, charge. gets the charge on towards him. That's going to be one of the units down. Second one's going to be the target. You can see Gunner running for his life. And this has been the problem. The artillery completely left. We saw the defensive line that Germanicus had covering him off. Meanwhile, it's just that one simple single set of units causing so many problems. Jesse did stay back and defend. Doesn't matter. Damage done. No artillery for Leonidas. Yeah, and they've, they've stacked the top of that map. And oh, Warriors Sparrows has gone through. Has this been an ambush for them up there? Mm, not too sure. They tried to push around the side there. They've had to... Oh, wow, okay. What happened while we looked away? Wow, they've absolutely piled around the side and the artillery themselves has been pushed on. Hugo's going to get around the side. This has become complete chaos. So you can see Team Leonidas just to totally penned in the corner. They are getting absolutely massacred by Germanicus. They're just going to get destroyed. We can see just off the side is Gunnar. Gunnar, I should say, not Gunnar, which we've been calling him. Uh, it's the, the German twang on it. Oh, Malakath, you all stood together. Don't make it happen for a second time. Oh, the artillery on top of him. Second time running. Malakath just getting rained down on. Edge, uh, Diplex, uh, very happy with his artillery placement this game. He's spreading them out to make it a difficult uh, target for them to hit. And yeah, this attack, it looks like it's faltering quite quickly. Yeah, absolutely. Total War Zones trying to get around the back of them. They need to push across, but look, you can see Lionheart holding the river. They've got the Pelotites coming up. Pelotites? Is it Pelotites? Uh, no, Pelotes, uh, Pelotes. There's the charge yeah, straight yeah. into each other. Ooh, Lionheart didn't come out so well in that one. Total War Zone did come out better, but you can see Lionheart has a second row of troops. He's just going to flank around the back of Total War Zone, do damage. While that's all happening, look at the background. You can see Total War Zone is causing more problems. So he's obviously took his eyes off that one. Malakas once again trying to push over the river, but they're losing it. A lot of units in that river crossing. Yeah, those range units are punishing everything coming across. Side straight doing a great job just to just to wear down a lot of these heavy infantry. And uh, yeah, right now, uh, Londres has thrown everything into this attack. They've got nothing left to spare, really. And uh, this is just a grind fest. Well, it's a grind fest that they could possibly win. They are very much neck and neck in terms of unit strength right now. Mecca, oh, he's got to be careful he doesn't get locked up there by Hugo. Did manage to get one down, but that was about all. They've lost so much in this little river crossing. They have got units coming around the back. Jake, you can Jake Fish once again's got a snook around the side. Baron looks like he's locked up someone in the top there as well. Mecca still managing to get keep hold of his three cavalry units. You can see he's trying to get around. Side straight's been left open. He's exposed. Mecca's gonna make the charge for him. Cavalry charge hit. I don't think he's gonna hit a full blast of it. He does only get a Cox little hit. There. Shermanator also came in as well. Jesse Cox from the side. And suddenly they did a lot of damage. Immediately, the hundred unit difference between the two teams. Leonidas starting to grind this one back again. 
Yeah, and, uh, but there's a lot of cavalry on the field, and that's something that's going to be uh, painful and difficult to deal with, especially if there's uh, archers on the field. So right now, what's left of um, Leonidas' cavalry has to focus on taking away the archer power, otherwise making camps is going to be very, very difficult. Yeah, this is tight, tight stuff. Mecca doing some damage once again onto side strafe, side strafe getting knocked down. It's almost getting close to a 200 units difference now they're starting to work their way and look at shermanator he's got a lot of cavalry in and around that cap point hugo though making his way back he could get around the back of malakath could cause some serious problems that's what he's looking to do that could even things up quite heavily if he can get a full cavalry charge there it is the cavalry charge across malakath takes down one unit takes down a second i think as well got very close to decimating malakath around the back yeah, there's nothing you can do. If, you, if you've got your units punched up like that and not spread out, one cavalry charge might be all it takes. And you'd see Sidestray try and take what's left of his arch units out of there, and Paul was coming to his aid to try and give him some cover. Lineheart getting locked up, it seemed like, but the cap is beginning. Shermanator keeping Rambler. needs to stop Rambler at the back there. While he's going for the cap, I, honestly, I feel like those cavalry units would be made better use of actually fighting. Yeah, but at the same time, that cap is going to be very, very slow. Yeah, you but that's know the that. point. You, you know that one... Yeah, so cavalry uh, camp generally a lot slower. Yeah. Um, but because of that, there's no need for them to waste the time running in to try and stop that cap because they can just clean up with what's left here, then come back in with more units. Yeah, I don't understand why he's holding there. There we go. Shermanator has come out. Now, this is oh. what I was thinking. A full cavalry charge onto Lionheart. But Lionheart actually counted it pretty well and Shermanator lost a lot of units. Duck is back in action. He comes around the side. He gets a full charge on Shermanator. And Shermanator has been routed. That's one of his units set out there. It's absolute chaos. Still in very, very close, but you can see this is a tight fight once again, just like it was in the last match. Yeah, and uh, I think there's only really... I, I'm not even sure what units they have left to, to, to do anything here. They still have 300 on the field, but I'm, I'm trying to work out where. Paul S could cause a problem here if he can get a good cavalry charge. or oh, Mecca realized it. Quickly swerve that one. And again, Paul S and Duck causing problems. Shermanator is in the cap zone, holding it on. That's where they're going to fight. That's where they want to hold. They want to hold in the cap zone once Peeler. again. Jesse's team trying to get in there. Lionheart with the peeler doing work on towards Mecca there. Shock coming out. Shock charge. Is it going to be enough? Met with a cavalry, cavalry charge. And that was pretty even, I think, in terms of difference. Mecca might go for a second one. Now I think he's going to find out Spear and Sagir on around the side there. He's not going to go for the charge on him, though. Paul S is just basically keeping on. There's the cavalry charge, but he missed. Sigiron managed to get out the side of it. Paul S comes in with the cavalry charge. Mecca's routed. Yeah, and it really comes down to that. If you don't have a vision, there's some units outside. Range units just constantly going to keep throwing stuff in. And, and there you go. Duck's still got a unit out here. Yeah, still heading back. And that's a lot of units, actually. That's a big chunk. So now only a 50 unit difference between the two. I got a feeling Germanicus are going to pull this one back. I think they around. might just have enough here. But there's still cavalry alive, and that's really the only thing that can keep them in the battlefield right now. And there you go. More range units are down. It all comes down there to killing no Duck to and Polis's cavalry. Yeah, Duck's going to be the difference. That set of units there, that could be a very big difference in this game. He's chasing Gunner. <laughs> no, he's going to go for the cap. I think he's going to give up on this one because what's the point in chasing a unit that literally can't do any damage? So I think uh, if he's going to do anything, he needs to bring that back to his base. Paul S has still got a lot of units in there. Duck's still got a lot of units in there. Shermanator's going to try for a cavalry charge, not going to catch onto Duck. Duck sidesteps. Oh God, they just plowed straight into the, into the fences there. That didn't work out. Jake Fish is trying to catch on towards him, but suddenly it is getting a very tight game. Duck, once again, making his way back in, going to try and start the cap off. They could cause problems that could get that cap Duck himself could win this game again is it going to be another MVP Duck moment so I'm trying to work out exactly why Duck is pulling back so much not going for I think, a cap hmm I wonder if he's realised that he can get in there and get the cap look they've, they've cleared out the back completely yeah Jake Fish has still got some units but not enough and, and it's just uh... where is the numbers where is the numbers for Leonidas right now if we could Jake Jesse Fish's belly going cam, I've got a feeling he still has a full unit. But maybe yes. it's just my imagination. You know what? Jesse did leave something back in the base. I reckon, he's, I reckon he's got a full unit in the base. Shimmer there. Finally getting massacred. 
So Jake Fish is going to have to make a choice on what he wants to do here. They have 2 minutes 30 on the map, and they have gone forward and done a lot of damage here. There is a possibility. Ah, so th this, is the, this is the way that Leon Das can win. They have pushed forward and done a lot of damage here. They've done cap and so forth. So what um, Jake Fish needs to do is get his cav unit out of there, back into base, and if they've done the damage on the points, maybe they can hold off. Oh, look at this. Have they actually managed to get on and get back onto the catapult? I think they have. If we could, if Jesse could move forward, I'm pretty certain they've managed to cap hold that catapult again. So that's why Duck is constantly coming back, coming and, back forth. and forth. Because yeah. if he leaves, he's going to get artillery in the back. But either way, it looks like Duck's going for it. Because if they don't destroy it, they can't Duck's recover going it. it. Duck's going to go in there. Jesse's ready for it, though. Duck's trying to sneak around. He has to get some cap points on here because the clock yep. is ticking. There's only a minute 30 left in this game. Jake Fisher's going to get routed. He's going to run down. So Duck has done the job there. Duck is just going to play cat and mouse. He's just going to run around this because he's much faster movement than, than uh, Jesse has. Yeah, and this is comes down to speed versus uh, heavy infantry unit and uh, <laughs> spiral. And I think that is pretty much what it's going to be. Um, though, if Jake Fish can get his cavalry back, that would be good. But I more think, importantly, we still have Gunner with his uh, with his. Uh, I think Duck can cap group. this. I think Duck can cap this. Jesse can't get near him. Jo Jesse's got one unit, so he's got nothing to close the gap. It's all about that cavalry unit coming that, back. That cavalry unit needs to get back here. It needs to help out Jesse Cox. Jesse cannot chase these rounds because they've dropped shields. They are much faster moving. So I think they're still... Are you, there you go. There's gonna... 50 seconds. I actually just heard him. Just give me 50 seconds. I just heard him shout out. That's all he needs. 40 but seconds on the clock. if that unit gets in there, it's going gonna, it's gonna to weigh the cap. If he knows that. Gunner, you've got to engage. Gunner, you have to move. You have to get in there. You have to get in the game, boy. Duck is running rings around your base. He's running away. No, don't run away. <laughs> run into them. Close them off. He had more units as Gunner, well. Gunner's coming, coming in. in. This should slow the cap down. You can see. Doesn't matter. Oh, God. Not if he just rushes straight through them like that. That's not what you want. Now Gunner can stop him. Now he can get involved. Jakefish has to get on towards him. They have to slow the cap down. 12 seconds remain on the clock. It's up to 46%. The question is, have they done more? He's dropped the cap. He's have dropped the cap. He's stopped the cap. He's stopped the cap. Comes Nicely down to points done. Now. He's managed to get on there. Jesse Cox in there. And it's down to points, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. It is Leonidas that come out on top, I think. That was so, so close. And that's what happens Good Lord. when you play aggressive. You get more points. You move forward like that. You do damage. You get into that base first. And you just accumulate those points. Wow. You know what? All the aggression that Jesse Cox showed, this time... He leaves a unit back, stays there, <laughs> holds just, his nerve. He just left one unit back. It had to play cat and mouse with Duck. Duck couldn't fight him head on, and uh, Jesse Cox unit's too slow to catch him. But if he had tried, it would have ended badly anyway. So, uh, but either way, eventually they get that win. And uh, they're not looking a little disappointed there. They thought they had that one. But the points were for the attacking side. Yeah, absolutely. So, so tight. So, so close. Both teams. I nobody, would love nobody to have wants, seen what that was. The thing is, points. nobody wants to go down to points either. That's the thing. No. Like, nobody wants to go that far down to... The, and it was so close to capping both teams. And, well, I think Marathon has probably shown us the closest games we've had so far. Indeed. And that is because that map has so many uh, blank spots in the map. Yeah. And just such massive terrain differences in the, in the hill. And it's just... So you can get completely lost. And that was happening so much. You would lose Duck. That's fine. He's gone. He's gone yeah. up there. Great. He can go up there, but it, if the rest of his team's getting surrounded and slaughtered, then you're late to the party <laughs> and it's too late. But that was that was tight, that game. Like I, for a moment, were. Leonidas was so, like, they were looking against it. They were looking like they were got cornered. They, mm. They'd lost so many units crossing that river, trying to get over. The artillery was perfectly placed this time. We, heard, we saw Lionheart drawing out, just basically saying, you guys here, you guys here. This is the first time we've seen Lionheart's team properly bulking up and getting that artillery and archers and everything basically defense in a perfect position didn't quite work out them from them no. so team lion uh, leonidas do manage to get themselves back into it we've got jesse cox standing by with sean thank you so much d-man tight close exciting i mean we're, we're playing we're playing alpha here and this game is already wowing everybody and what you just did was you're a different man from the last time we saw one another <laughs> thank you 
how do you feel coming down? I mean, obviously, we've put a little makeup on you to hide, hide the, the, I the, do, the, yeah, the I general do sweat. Out. You were working very hard up there with we your were, team. There was a lot of stress happening. So they did... I'm wearing makeup now in that, so that's for you. Um... Man, I, I, I wish I could say it was a me thing. It definitely wasn't. It was the team we went back during our break and decided who are you most comfortable with? What do you want to be? What do you like to play? And so we came back. People were playing different stuff. Uh, we came together a little bit more as a team because I think we're a lot of our guys are new, but the more they play, the more they're really starting to like get a feel for it. And it's great. And so I was just like, I'm going to keep one guy back from now on so they can never do that awful thing again. <laughs> and then I'll just move my guy slowly to the front and let's just win. And somehow that strategy worked. It's not even really a plan. It was just like, do you like to play this? Okay, play that. And now let's win. The best plans are often the simplest. Yeah. Let's be honest. Oh. Well, it, it has indeed paid off. Now, a, a, another plan was from the start to, to let the people speak and find out where we'd go. And I can tell you that we are going back to uh, Thermopylae now, which uh, obviously uh, you know, takes Great. us back to the, the Hot Gate, which was a, an exciting uh, uh, part. What do you guys think going back there now? Obviously, we've got a higher tier level that we're going into. Is that going to play into your plan? You were successful there with your team before today. Talk us through your thoughts. Really, I think uh, it comes down to, for Thermopylae, man, I would say we still need to keep doing what we're doing, and that is not worry about playing it too safe and worry about handling the problem people on the other team. And if Duck wants to run around at the end, he's more than welcome to. <laughs> but that's not how you win fights, Duck. So uh, we're going to keep doing what we're doing, and hopefully we'll come out on top. Sounds very, very good. Now, obviously, this game we said before, you know, there was a chance of it being a landslide. This has already come back. You're, 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 you're coming back. Does that get, fill you with confidence? I mean, I mean, it fills me with the belief that we can do it, but it's my, it, I, it's my team. My team's the one who's doing all the work. I just show up and move guys like this across the map, and they're the ones doing all the work. So uh, yeah. if they're confident, then we've got this. You're having some effect. Come on. I mean, you, 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 you pulled your team away. You've had a good chat. You've no, come no. back. You come back a different team, and, and it has worked. Uh, I think you're mistaken. <laughs> they had a chat. I was on here with you. They got there. They got it worked out. That's true. I was trying I to give you some you. credit. <laughs> no, I refused to accept any. They did all the work, and I just came back and was like, "So, what's the plan?" And they were like, "Here's what we're doing." I was like, "All right, great. Maybe that is the plan. Just not you, listen to you, me anymore." Yeah, you spend a little time here. Um, you know what? The best bosses delegate. So, if anything, I'm an excellent general. Yeah. <laughs> Now, what's it like for you sitting here watching the game, seeing the teams play out like this? I mean, it's been close, it's been intense, it's really genuinely great. I mean, this is, we're not looking at a spec client at the moment, we're really just spectating over players. I mean, it's still very much in the early phase, but it's still really proving itself to be a fun game. Is that, is that, does that do a lot for you to see that? The, the one thing we, uh, um, we've been worried about is, is the learning curve of the game, understanding the game. But I, we've almost seen a learning curve today, right? The, you know, the team, like we said, the team have gone away. They've had a discussion about it. They've swapped their roles and they, they've learned the game as they've been playing and they've got better. They, visibly, you can see an improvement. So that's great to see. It's really good to see the people, like players, playing the game and, and, and just learning by playing. It's, you know, it's not like we have to flash up big buttons and say, press A now. Uh, they're learning just by playing and, and that's really good to see. Very good to see indeed. And of course, if you're liking what you watch, you can get involved. Head over to TotalWar.com slash ESL where you can get involved in this alpha. We're going to go to a short break. And of course, then we're going to come back with our fourth map, which will be Thermopylae. It's all deciding. Three to go. Are you ready? Yeah. I, these interviews are great, but I just want to play more. <laughs> you guys there are you nice go. and all, but... <laughs> You can't wrap it up better than that. Guys, thank you so much, Jesse. Thank you so much for joining us, of course. Thank you, Jesse. Elliot will be back again shortly. Don't go anywhere. We'll take a short break. We're coming back with the fourth map for the day.